uh, as uh, Jerry said, my name is Adam White, and I'm one of the candidates for the Republican nomination for the 9th District Congressional seat. I'm a licensed land surveyor who has worked in my field for over 20 years now. I believe that I'm uniquely qualified to represent the 9th District in Congress because for the first six years of my career, I surveyed underground on nearly a daily basis. And I've not forgotten what it's like to make your living between a rock and a hard place. I'm a Jeffersonian Republican with Patrick Henry tendencies, and I look upon both men with great reverence. I believe in the original intent of the Constitution and that it is living and breathing only through the amendment process. I believe that we're all better off when our tax money stays here at home to be used as we see fit, not sent to Washington, and to be returned only as a fraction of what it once was. I believe that successful businesses must be allowed to prosper and failing businesses must be allowed to fail. I believe that anthropogenic global warming is a hoax and that for many, environmentalism has become a religion. I believe that we need less government in our health care, not more. They've bankrupted both Medicaid and Medicare and we shouldn't have any confidence that this time will be any different. I believe in a citizen legislature with a regular rotation Lifetime politicians have become corrupt and immoral. I'd like to read to you a little quote from one of my personal heroes. Uh, he's a, he's a, one of our founders, one of our Virginia founders named John Taylor. He actually goes by John Taylor of Caroline because there was another John Taylor and he wanted to be specific as to who he was. He says, little of principle, much of party, adulation, and invective are the means which transform a genuine loyalty for liberty into a spurious loyalty for men. And the degradation by which the human mind descends from a capacity for freedom to a fitness for slavery. End quote. I believe that in this election we must put principle ahead of all else. I believe that we must forsake the, the conventional wisdom that's brought us record deficits, unfathomable debt, and a federal government with no accountability and very little morality. <coughs> I believe we must elect candidates that will take their oath to uphold the Constitution seriously and never waver upon it. If we truly believe that the foundation of this great union is rooted in the principles of the Almighty Himself, then why would we fail to stand on those principles? You know, another hero of mine, Patrick Henry, said, Guard with jealous attention the public liberty. Suspect everyone who approaches that jewel. Unfortunately, nothing will preserve it but downright force. When you give up that force, you are inevitably ruined. I believe that we've failed to follow the counsels of Patrick Henry. But despite all this, I do have hopes for our union. I believe, like President Reagan said, that we can once again be that shining city on the hill. So I ask you today to rise up as a sovereign people and declare in one voice to Washington, D.C. that we are not your subjects and you do not dictate to us. Let us here today be known to future generations as the Refounding Fathers. Thank you.